Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cadence, and I am currently making faith, lifestyle, and motherhood content. I am a first-time mom to a two-month-old. Well, he'll actually be two months old this week. But anyway, moving past that, which it's crazy how fast time is gone. Anyway, I wanted to make this video since we are going into the new year officially going into 2024. This video is kind of just a what I want to get out of 2024 and what I got out of 2023. And I'll kind of talk about a few goals and things I have for 2024 as a whole. Um, and these are kind of just things that I want to incorporate somewhere in my life um, during the next year. But we're going to start out with kind of recapping and talking about what I got out of 2023. So 2023 was kind of a crazy year. I was pregnant for most of it. And as you can see, I just had a beautiful, amazing baby boy. So it's it's been kind of crazy. So I got pregnant in February and was pregnant all the way through last month. And now we have a two month old. I have just learned so much about life, about, you know, my body. And, you know, I'm still learning about how to be a mom, my emotions, my mental health, all kinds of different things. It was just, it was definitely a year of growth for me um, in many different ways. And just, realizing where my priorities are um, and kind of shifting my priorities. I started out the year as a toddler teacher, which I absolutely loved. I was let go from that job and got to be home for a good month or two. And I kind of just realized how much of a toll that job really took on me and how much I let it affect my daily life, my mental health, all of that stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I did love the job and maybe one day I will go back and do it again. Um, but it definitely made me realize how stressed out I really was and um, how much of myself I had lost because of how much I was putting into that job. So that happened and I think you know God did that for a reason you know and it was hard when it happened but I've definitely grown from it and again I think God just kind of was like you need to take a step back you need to take a time of rest and recuperate and just work on yourself because you know I was going to be a mother and I wanted to go into that as healthy as I possibly could so I was very grateful or I am very grateful for that um, and then I was working at a coffee shop part-time up until a couple weeks before I gave birth and that was really nice so I still got to get out of the house and be around people and do stuff and feel productive and I definitely learned a lot from that experience and I have come to appreciate coffee, which is crazy because if you know me, I have never really been a coffee person, but I have definitely come to love and appreciate it. Um, and one of my goals that I want to do is make um, different lattes, kind of experiment with different flavors and things like that, um, different kinds of coffee and, um, you know, latte art, all that kind of stuff, just to really, I guess, get more of an appreciation for it. So, um, that's kind of my recap and, you know, the last two months have basically just been learning how to navigate life with a newborn and that has definitely been an experience. It has not been easy by any means, um, but I am extremely grateful um for the opportunity to be able to be a mother to our amazing little boy and i wouldn't trade it for the world all right so let's go ahead and move on to what i want to get out of 2024 and kind of what i am looking forward to so ultimately i am looking forward to being a mom in 2024 um just watching him grow and develop 
and honestly I'm also kind of sad about it too because it's going by so fast already uh, just looking back at his newborn pictures to how he is now it's just absolutely insane and I am kind of sad to watch him grow up but also extremely excited just to kind of see him grow into his own personality and um, his own little person and things like that so I have goals that I set but ultimately I base my year around a specific word and so I pray about it and I kind of just reflect on this past year and think about how I want my next year to go and kind of pick a word based on all of that. And this year I really felt like my word was peace. Um, just with everything that's been going on in the world and everything like that, um, I feel like this year God just really wants me to take a step back, take a breather, and just focus on peace and family and friends and living in the moment and um, turning to him in times of fear and things like that. And I guess not letting the worldly things affect me as much and to just have peace and gratitude in my everyday life and in my everyday moments. That is my work for this year and something that I really, really want to strive for. And a lot of these goals kind of help reflect that in a certain sense. So going into goals, starting off, I have family and friends. And in this, I put fellowship because I really this year want to focus on fellowship with other people and just taking time to slow down and enjoy life and the people around me. So one, I put that I want to get to know our neighbors. It's like, even if we don't become close friends with them or anything, I just would like to get to know them, you know, have fellowship with our neighbors. Um, Cause I think that that is very important when building a community. And um, I think that's something that we've all kind of lost as a society nowadays. You know, we get so busy in our lives and everything like that, that we don't really pay attention to the people that are right there around us. And I feel like it's really important to build that community. So that is one of the things that I want to try and do this year. We actually started that. We brought Christmas cookies to several of our neighbors a couple weeks ago. So that was nice. We actually got to meet them and um, learn their names and things like that. So I want to start doing more things like that. Next, I want to try and visit with someone once a week, whether it's on FaceTime, whether it's going and getting coffee, whether it's, you know, them coming over, whatever it may be, especially since I plan to stay home. Um, I think it'll be really important for me to um, socialize. And so I want to try and visit with someone at least once a week. And then me and my husband are planning to visit with people every other week, um, different couples and things like that, and kind of build that fellowship in that way um, so that we can build a community. And I want to join a small group, whether it's a small group just for me or a small group for both me and my husband. I want to join a small group and meet more Christian people and people that just um, have the same values and beliefs as me and just surround myself with people that will help me grow and just be a positive light in my life. And then the last one for this is book club because I started a book club last year and I think we only met a couple times because life got crazy. But this year my plan is we already have our first date set for January. It's actually not this weekend, but the following weekend. And my plan is to set a date at each book club. So when we meet, we're gonna set a date for the next month and we're just gonna do it that way so that if people are available to come, they can come. If they're not, that's okay. Um, but that way we actually have something set and scheduled because I have come to realize that if you want to spend time with people, you have to set a date and actually schedule it because, you know, I've noticed that 
I'll see people and be like, oh, we should get together and all of this stuff. And then it never actually happens. So instead of saying, hey, let's get together at some point, actually stopping taking a moment and saying, hey, let's get together. When are you available? Okay, let's do it at this time and actually scheduling it. Um, because we, again, we get so busy that we don't take the time to stop and actually do stuff and schedule stuff. And, you know, we forget to do all of that. And so just doing it upfront, I think will be extremely helpful and, you know, just give us, I guess, the motivation to get together and all of that. All right, moving on to self things that I want to do. Um, personally for me, um, one of the things I want to do is start learning how to make more things from scratch. Um, since I'm going to be home, I'm going to have the time to do it. And I've always wanted to learn to do this. So that is one of the big things that I want to work on. Um, at least learning to make one or two things. Right now I do pizza dough. Um, and I know how to make like cookies and things like that. But I want to learn how to make some other fun stuff. So... Um, I might take you guys along with me on that journey, maybe do some videos of me learning how to do that type stuff. If you're interested, let me know. If not, that's perfectly fine. Next is I want to wake up earlier and create more consistent routines. Um, I've always wanted to do this. I've just never really pushed myself to do it. And so I really, really, really want to push myself to do it this year and not be lazy and actually do it. And, um, especially with having a new baby, I think it'll be really, really important to have routines set, not just for me, but also for him and our life in general, especially as we get busier and things like that. And also I think waking up earlier will be important for me to be able to get time for me, um, and just set myself up for the day and, uh, just be able to be you know, there for him and take care of him and all of that stuff. And finally, I want, well, not finally, next, I want to be the best mom that I can be. So being a mom is definitely a lot mentally, emotionally, and all of that. And especially with all of the social media and all this stuff you see of, oh, you should do this, or oh, you should do this, or you know, you should have that and be doing this and be going there and all of that. It can be very overwhelming, especially if you don't do that or um, can't do that. And, you know, just all this stuff, I feel like it can make it very overwhelming and make it make you feel like you're a bad mom if you're not doing what everybody else is doing. If you don't have the aesthetic lifestyle and, you know, your life is a mess and all this stuff and I don't want to feel that way so I've just decided that you know I don't think I'll ever be an aesthetic mom. Do I want some things in my life to be more organized and more whatever? Yes um, and I can work on that stuff and that's fine but I don't want to beat myself up and make myself feel like a bad mom because I'm not doing what everyone else is doing or what everyone else expects me to do and um, things like that but just to do what I can and to be me and to enjoy the moments because I feel like if you really are trying to pursue that fully aesthetic lifestyle and trying to be the perfect mom and trying to do it all and you know do everything and you know all of that stuff you can really miss out on the little moments and really miss out on like just life in general because you're spending so much time focusing on a lot of the stuff that doesn't matter as much and ultimately it's a balance and so i really want to work on finding that balance of taking care of my son taking care of the home and all of that stuff but also taking time to again enjoy the little moments and not beat myself up if the house isn't perfectly clean every single day or if you know, I don't have the nicest things or if we're not going out and doing something every single day or, you know, if we don't throw him the biggest birthday party ever, you know, whatever. And I feel like motherhood is different for every person and you should do what makes you happy and what you think is best for you and your family and not focus on what everybody else is doing and not try to 
build your mothership journey based around what you think you should be doing and what everyone else is doing and more of what you want to do and what you feel is best because um, ultimately you know what's best for you and your family so that is my goal is to be the best mom I can be and not worry about what everyone else is doing and you know just build my family the way that I want to and um, not beat myself up for not being the perfect mom so because I feel like if you try so hard to be the perfect mom then you, again you miss out on so much so yeah that is one of my goals and ultimately if I don't accomplish any of these other goals on my list that is the number one goal that I want to focus on for 2024. Moving on to finances, I want to learn how to budget because I haven't been doing that, but I want to learn how to budget and I want to learn balance when it comes to finances because I don't want to be one of those people that never spends money because I'm so focused on saving money and all this stuff. But I also don't want to be one of those people that just goes and spends tons of money because I've definitely been that. And I don't think either one of those is healthy. So finding a balance of, you know, spending money, but also saving money. And again, not beating myself up either way. And then finally, we have faith. And I have a couple for this. One is I want to read through the whole Bible in a year. And I want to... Um, no, I'm going to find a um, devotional type thing that will help me kind of do that. And if you guys want to do that with me, I might actually set up a link um, to whatever Bible studies I do. Because I might do like individual ones. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it yet. But if you guys are interested, I can set up links to the Bible studies so that you guys can do them with me. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, so we can do the Bible chats again, which is something that I want to do because, again, I have not read a majority of the Bible. And so I feel like talking with people and all of that stuff, kind of having those discussions is important because if you're just doing what you get from it, I feel like you can miss a lot of things. And plus, it's just nice to chat with other people and hear other people's thoughts and, um, you know, it also helps build a community because not everybody, there's a lot of people like me who haven't ever really gotten into it or feel intimidated by it. And so having a community of people who all feel the same way, I think can make it less intimidating. Um, and so, and make it more approachable. So I want to find some podcasts that I can listen to, more Christian content and things like that, kind of um, podcasts that align with my goals and um, what I want out of life and that type of thing listen to a podcast once a day that type of thing and then finally I want to listen to more worship music and less secular music now I don't think I'm at a point where I want to cut out all secular music but I definitely want to limit how much secular music I'm listening to because I am a firm believer in what you listen to and what you watch and all of that stuff can greatly have an impact on your mental health, your emotional health, and just your life in general. So I think it'll be really important um, and just really good for me to um, have more of that worship music and just really, I guess, filling myself with things that align more with my views and things like that and yada, yada, yada. So anyway... <laughs> That is it, that is all the goals I have for 2024 right now. And like I said, ultimately the main thing I'm gonna focus on is peace um, in my life and just everything. And then the number one goal that I wanna focus on is being the best mom I can be. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did um, and would like to follow along, feel free to subscribe. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I love you guys and I will see you guys later.